Hello ladies, it's Mr. O'Sullivan. Today we are doing lesson 1-5 of literal equations. The reason why we call them literal equations is because they are mainly variables in the question. So today's learning target is I can rearrange an equation by solving for a specified variable. So that's exactly what we're doing. We're going to be using our solving equation skills to basically rearrange formulas slash equations that mainly contain variables. So literal equations, they are equations with multiple variables where you're asked to solve for just one of them, one of the variables. So our goal today is we want to solve for these variables. Solving a literal equation is simply solving a formula for a given variable. So solving literal equations seems to be another way of saying taking an equation with lots of letters and solving it for one letter in particular. We use the same steps we've used to solve equations, which is P, C, V, and A, or simply just using your inverse operations. When you solve literal equations, you are really only rearranging the equation. You're just rearranging it for one specific variable. So just please, please, please focus. There is only one variable. The rest are unspecified constants, which are just numbers that we haven't been given yet. So an example, solve A, B minus D equals C for B. A, B minus D equals C for B. The only real variable in this problem is B. And the reason why is because that's what I want you to solve for. So whatever you want to solve for is always going to be your variable. So in the past, if you look at it, so we want to solve A, B minus D equals C. If you look, 5 is my A, B is my B, and 4 is my D, 11 is my C. So that's what we're doing today, basically. We're basically just giving you an expression that contains variables, and we want to solve it. So we know how to solve 5b minus 4 equals 11. We know that we have to add 4 to both sides. Our 4 is cancel, so we get 5b equals 15. And then we divide both sides by 5 to get b equals 3. And that's your final answer. But here's the issue. We want to solve it just with variables. So again, we want to solve for b. So the whole goal is to get b by itself. And we were going to solve it the exact same way we did over here. So for instance, here we added 4 to both sides. Here we're going to add d to both sides. d. d is in David. So we're going to add d, add d. My d's cancel, so I get a, b equals c plus d. And again, I want to get b by itself. So I have to look, and before I divide it by 5, here I'm going to divide by A. So I get B equals C plus D over A as your final answer. So your goal is to basically just get your variable by itself. Again, this is a very, very challenging skill, so please don't be frustrated if you don't get it right away. I promise you, you will get it soon. So let's do some examples. Converting formulas. This is what typically literal equations are used for, to convert formulas to make them easier to work with. So for the first example, we want to solve for b. So I have a equals b times h. So if I want to solve for b, I'm going to circle it or square it, and know that I can't touch it. So I look, and I need to get rid of this h and bring it over here. I have to ask myself, do I have addition, do I have subtraction, do I have multiplication, or do I have division? Well, I have multiplication, so the only way to get rid of a multiplication is to divide. So I'm going to divide both sides by h. My h is cancel, and I get b equals a over h as my final answer. For b, I want to solve for pi. So it's the exact same as the way before. I'm multiplying my pi and my d, and I want to solve for pi. So I simply divide both sides by d. So I get pi equals c over d. For c, I want to solve for h. So I have to ask myself, how do I get rid of a 1 half times b? Well, I divide by 1 half times b. So I get h equals a over 1 half b. And that's your final answer. Try to do the next two by yourself. 
in D, I divide both sides by R squared. My R squareds cancel, and I get pi equals A over R squared. And in E, I get D over T equals R. Now, for the next few examples, we want to rearrange these equations by solving for the variables specified in the parentheses. These are going to be multi-steps. They aren't going to be just like one step like the ones we just did. So in our first example, <clears throat> we have 2x minus 3y equals 8, and we want to solve for y. So basically, we want to get everything on the side of our y to be on the other side of our equation. So say it with me, 2x minus 3y equals 8. So I have a 2x over here that I want to get rid of. The only way to get rid of that 2x is to subtract by 2x. So I'm going to subtract by 2x on both sides of my equation. My 2x's cancel, and I'm left with negative 3y equals 8 minus 2x. Well, the negative 3 is being multiplied to my y, so the only way to get rid of my multiply by negative 3 is to divide by negative 3. So my final answer is y equals 8 minus 2x over negative 3. And that's your final answer. In number 2, I have a equals x plus y over 2. I want to solve for y again. Here's a trick that I'm going to show you. Simply put your a over 1. You might have learned in middle school that you can cross multiply. That's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to cross multiply our a with our 2, and then 1 times x plus y. 1 times x plus y is just x plus y, and that's equal to 2 times a. I want to solve for y, and I have an x being added to it, so I simply subtract x from both sides. So I get y equals 2a minus x as your final answer. In number 3, I have a equals 2 times l plus w, and I want to solve for w. I'm going to show you a trick. You actually don't have to distribute your 2. You can do reverse distribution, which is simply dividing both sides of your expression by a 2. So I'm going to divide by 2, divide by 2. My 2's cancel. So I get a over 2 equals l plus w. What I now want to do is solve for w. So the only way to get rid of this l is to subtract it. So I'm going to subtract l, subtract l, and I get w equals a over 2 minus L. And that's your final answer. Try to do the next three examples by yourself. So let's zoom out and see our final answers. For number four, I divided both sides by four and I got R squared equals A over four. For number five, I crossed and multiplied and got 3A equals A plus B plus C. And then I subtracted my A and my B and I got 3A minus A minus C equals B. And for our last example, I subtracted my 12X. I got negative 12X plus 20. And then I divide it by negative 4. I got negative 12x plus 20 over negative 4. You can leave it like this as your final answer, or you can simplify it further. I get y equals negative 12 over negative 4 is positive 3, so I get 3x. And 20 divided by negative 4 is a minus 5. So you can write it as this as well. Both are 100% correct. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to email myself, Ms. Townsend or Miss Jimenez. Have a great day, ladies.